So we're going to find out more about Ramsey Hunt syndrome, its causes, its yeah. symptoms, the risk factors, and most importantly, the treatments by connecting with Brawijaya Hospital neurologist, Dr. Lilir Amalini. Good morning, doctor. Thank you for joining us on the Sea Morning Show. Hello, good morning. Hi, Doc. So listen, uh, I explained a little bit about my experience with the varicella zoster uh, virus, but uh, can you explain to us what is Ramsey-Hunt syndrome and how it's connected, how its similarities? Because we do see that the, the symptoms that I described and the symptoms that we see on Justin Bieber are slightly different. It's in fact more severe because it's in causing some sort of uh, muscle kind of uh, loss in his yeah. one side of his face. Yeah, thank you for having me. Uh, this ramsey hunt syndrome is a rare neurological disorder characterized by paralysis of the facial nerve or facial palsy and arrest affecting the ear or mouth. Mm -hmm. So, Dr. Lele, what causes this symptom or this syndrome, though? Um, you know, because we didn't know that you know Justin Bieber had some medical issues before. Uh, does this just come out just like that, or you know, as Paula stated before, you know, once you already had a chicken pox, you know, these things would you know uh, syndromes might come occur again to you. What are? Uh, please let us know about it, Doc. Yeah, that's right. Ramsey Hunt syndrome is caused by the varicella zoster virus which is the same virus that causes chickenpox and mm -hmm. singles. The virus can remain dormant or silent for decades in a person who has had chickenpox as a child. The reactivation of this varicella zoster virus results in develops into Ramsey Hunt syndrome. So you're right, Paul. Yeah, so yeah. Are, there, are there any particular things, because this was difficult for me to research yeah. when I had this happen to me, was what food should I avoid or what activities mm. that mm -hmm, I don't mm -hmm. need to be doing in order for this not to happen? Because believe it or not, it, may, it can happen again, although the likeliness is low, Doc. Okay, uh, you, you cannot have the chicken pox twice. Right. Uh, uh, so what you have is a uh, single. Right. Uh, it's called herpes zoster. Correct. Yeah. So is there any uh, way we can avoid like, this? Uh, yeah. Uh, like other viruses, uh, it depends on how your immune system. Mm. We should maintain good immune system to prevent the disease. Okay. It means eat healthy food, get enough sleep, and exercise regularly. So it comes, oh, it's everything, you know, every viruses and syndrome does <laughs> always come back to the lifestyle again. Sure. Now, uh, you know, what are the risk factors, especially now we're seeing uh, what is happening with uh, Justin Bieber having this uh, Ramsey Hunt uh, syndrome? Um, what are the risk factors if it comes, you know, we hope that he's going to have, you know, a very fast recovery. But if it doesn't, you know, what is the risk after that? And, you know, we know that Bieber is in a very young age. I mean, he's still in the 20s and whatnot. Does this, you know, happen, um, you know, currently to younger age? Or it can happen to any kind of age, Doc? Okay, the incidence of this syndrome uh, is about 5 out uh, of every uh, 100,000 people each year uh, in oh, the wow. United States. Anyone who's had chickenpox can get it but it commonly affects people over 60. ramsey mm. syndrome uh, affecting children is extremely rare. Yeah, okay. So it is a very rare thing for this. Five out of 100,000. 100, right, okay, exactly. all right. It's quite low, the chances of it happening. Um, there are a lot of similarities with this, the sim at least the symptoms of what uh, Justin mm -hmm. Bieber is going through and Bell Palsy syndrome. Can you explain the differences between the two? Yeah, uh, ramsey Hunt syndrome and Bell's palsy is affecting a seven cranial nerve. Uh, it's the same. But compared with Bell's palsy, uh, there is no facial paralysis without a rest. Patients with ramsey Hunt syndrome often have more severe paralysis at onset and are less likely to recover completely. So again, so you, hopefully this is, you know, Bieber, and of course for those who are having this uh, syndrome right now, could have, uh, you know, they would be really very soon because it mm -hmm. seems it's not, you know, forever. But how t how long does it usually take to recover, Doc? Oh yeah, the infection usually clear up within a couple of weeks. Okay, right. And the treatments, Doc? How do you treat yourself with this okay. uh, syndrome? Yeah, the treatment of ramsey Hunt syndrome commonly involves antiviral medications like as. Mm -hmm. 
Right, so of course like medications would needed. Uh, yeah, I remember taking uh, uh, antiviral medications as well. Uh, the earlier. Go ahead. I believe yes, we have Doc. Doc back on the line. Doc, could you repeat again uh, in regards to the treatment? We lost your connection for a second there. Okay, sorry. The treatment of ramsey Hahn syndrome commonly involves antiviral medication mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. such as aciclovir, famciclovir, and falciclovir in conjunction with corticosteroid like prednisone. The earlier you get the antiviral therapy, uh, it said within three days, it will significantly improve the outcomes. Right. So then you have to know the symptoms though, Doc, right? Uh, you know, what kind of like the first yeah. symptoms that like, you have to be aware of with the syndrome? Uh, sorry? The symptoms, Doc? The symptoms that you get. So the then, you know, symptoms. people, yeah, the early symptoms. So then probably, you know, we can be aware of the syndrome. When, when oh, one uh, yeah. got the uh, ramsey hunt uh, okay. syndrome. Okay. Uh, ramsey hunt syndrome is a clinical diagnosis and classically described as a triad. So they have three cl uh, classical symptoms. The first is otalgia. It's ear in your uh, ear pain, mm -hmm. which is more painful than in Bell's palsy, mm -hmm. affected about 55% patients. Uh, and the second one, uh, skin rest near the ear or your mouth, uh, it's affected about 80% patient. And the third is, of course, half face paralysis. Uh, and the ear abnormalities such as ringing in the ear, tinnitus, and hearing loss may also be present. The patient also can get vertigo, headache, and fever. Oh, wow. You can see how could this could affect yeah. someone such as a world-class singer because you do need your, your hearing, Correct. perfect hearing for your monitor. Correct. You need to enunciate properly for right. your sing. So uh, how likely are we to see, or I should say, how long do you think of a recovery time does this usually take? Because in my particular instance, at least the on the surface, mm -hmm. the uh, symptoms cleared out within a couple of months. The nerve loss I dealt with over time, but that wasn't really affecting my day-to-day -day activities. But with something like when you have some kind of paralysis, how long of a recovery time are we looking at for, let's say, Justin Bieber? Yeah, uh, it uh, can be cleared up within a couple of weeks or months. Okay. It depends on how severe the nerve affected. Okay. So we're, we do hope for a full recovery yeah. though, and uh, it is likely that he will recover. Um, and uh, we do have, hope uh, that we are able to see him sooner yes, or later, at least in this course. country. Anyway, Doc, thank you so much for your time and this more in-depth look into varicella zoster. And uh, it, this is something that, you know, until it happened to me, I didn't know anything about. Yeah. So we hope we're able to inform our viewers so they're more knowledgeable mm -hmm. in regards to the symptoms because early treatment does help. Thanks again, Doc. Thank you so much, Doctor. Have a great day. Okay. Take care. Thank you for having me. Thank, Thank you. Too. Awesome.